Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews, and on this episode we're going to be looking at more tips for two-handers and the bubble. guys, so welcome back. As always, I am Rob Johnson, joined once again by PBA Rising Star and Motive Staffer Zach Wilkins. Now, in the last episode, we talked about getting low, getting the bends. Now, on this episode, we're going to be talking about the bubble. Now, we touched on it a little bit, but I really want you to go into depth what the bubble is. Yeah, so what the bubble is, it's, a, it's a, your little zone once you start. So it's basically the height of you into the bottom of your feet. Okay. So some people's bubble is a little bigger just because of the height or the width of, you know, their body. Okay. So what you want to do, you want to keep that intact your whole way through your approach. Okay, now what does that mean, keeping it intact? So that means not popping the bubble, you know, you know, breaking your bubble, whether or not going your taller or your lower, like so, throughout your whole stand. So standing up too much, standing up too quick, moving back and forth, yeah, things like exactly that. exactly it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take it lane side and see what it means to stay in your bubble and what it means to break it. So welcome back guys. Now you've seen about the bubble. I think it's really important now to talk about walking for two-handers. So why don't you take it away, Zach? Yeah, walking for two-handers is very crucial. Uh, throughout bowling, I've learned three things over the course for walking with two-handers. It's called balance, control, and repeat. Okay. Now once you walk through, you want to keep your balance the whole way through. That, that'll help you not pop in your bubble. And with balance, it'll help you control what you're doing throughout the approach and when you're throwing the ball. And it'll also help you repeat the shots consistently over time. You know, that's actually probably good advice for anybody, not just two-handers. If you can control where you're walking, control how you're throwing the ball, if you keep balance at the line, you're going to be able to repeat that shot. And repeating that shot means you're going to score better. Exactly. All right, guys. So, you know what? That about wraps it up for this edition. So I want to thank Zach again for helping us out. And why don't you take these tips lane side and see how you do.